So you guys, it looks like we're modeling like different hats. Like, yeah. you're like, you're like a hat commercial. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. Oh, what's that? You guys in Yankee fans? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. But you're from Jersey, right? Yeah. Well, you got no, not a Philly fan? No. Really? No. Okay. Get out of here. Anti. I, really? like, I like Philadelphia. I don't like the Phillies, though. Okay. I don't like the Eagles. Should either. I show it over the Nah, that's cool. No, I'm embarrassed wearing the hats. But, but you no, got the Irish thing on the well, back. Well, it's got the... So it's it's like kind of Boston and the, the Mets. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So why, so why is it embarrassing? Because they suck. Well, well, you know what? Here's, here's, here's my problem about the Mets, okay? When my dad raised me to be a Mets fan, he didn't tell me that they weren't going to win for, like... Ever. Ever. Right. So, like, had he, like... I don't want to be a Yankee fan either. But I it would be you. nice to kind of have a team that That's doesn't why. embarrass themselves. You gotta, I like the Yankees, but then on the other hand, I like the Jets. Okay, so well that's good, and you're level humility. headed because of it. Yeah. yeah, and then I like the Rangers, which is right down the center. Okay. And I don't like the Devils because I don't respect the fact that they've only been a team since the 80s. Okay. It's like not enough history. Well, there's history. respect in there, and you know what, the Jets keep you grounded for, totally. for rooting for the Yankees, yep. so that's good. Yeah. And like, gr growing up, I was Mets and Giants, so I kinda, yeah. it was it was a balancing act. Yeah, the Giants you know? are always good, they win a lot. The Mets are terrible. The Mets beat themselves more than other teams beat the Mets. Yeah, you know well, I mean? I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to deal with the Mark Sanchez. Well, enough about the Mets, like, seriously. Nothing. I apologize, I'm right. sorry. Right, we'll swear, we'll swear. <laughs> so talk to me about this project, because right. everyone's just going to be like, oh, it's just a side project. But it kind of feels like more, just yeah, listening yeah, to the yeah. album. It and got, just seeing the report of you guys just playing that last song, it kind of seemed it, like more. It grew quickly. Yeah. We started out in the back of the bus on, on tour. The both of us, we're not really partiers, so we, we did lots of dead hours, you know? So we sleep. Mm -hmm. That's what you do when you're, when you're bored. Um, and we would listen to records in our bunks. And every morning we would wake up, really every afternoon we would wake up, and we would go, hey, what did you listen to last night? And then he would be like, oh, you know, Joe and his police woman. And I'd be like... Listen to that PJ Harvey record you gave me, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we would we would switch records back and forth. And then one time we were sitting in the back with the guitars and we were just like, let's try to write something. Like, let's see what we come up with. And the first thing that we wrote was uh, the song Blood Loss. That's that's the one of the second to last track on the record. Mm -hmm. And it just, it came out in like five minutes, you know? And then we did that. And then what did we do next? The, oh, we did the demo for Last Rites. And then Hurricane. And then Hurricane. But Last Rites, he was, I, we set up a... Um, we set up the drum loop. Yeah. We had a drum loop going, and literally, I had the organ, and we, were, we hit record, and he was like, and I was hitting chords, and he was going, go back to the first one. Go back to the second one. Go back to the first one. And he's like, do something down. Boom, boom, boom. And like, it literally, as we were recording it, I was hitting chords. And uh, it, that came together in like the minute and a half it takes to play the song. So it was like, so natural that we just decided, all right, you know, let's let's see. We think we've got some great songs here. Let's 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 send this to one of our friends and let's see if they think we're crazy. So we sent it to we sent it around a couple of people and then we ended up sending it to Side One and we said, Hey, what do you think of this? And I full well expected them Side One Dummy putting out Flag and Molly and Anti Flag and Gas mm -hmm. and I fully expected them to be like, This is not you, you guys need to take this to like anti or something else. Right. You can't or Matador or something. You can't be doing this here. And they, but they didn't, they loved it. And it's it's dumb luck. It's, what do you say? Yeah, very dumb luck. Very dumb luck. <laughs> you guys are just having fun. I can, yeah. I can totally tell. So are you going to make more albums and stuff like that? I think so. Yeah, we're already yeah. talking about it. So. How does, how does your other band like, mates feel about this? Are they like, totally behind you? Or, or, yeah. Or, or are they like, what the hell are you doing? I don't know. Truthfully. <laughs> because Alex, is, Alex plays the organs in it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a guitar player plays the organs yeah. in it. But I don't know. I think it goes up, like, up and down. I think sometimes they're like, this is cool, man. Like, you guys are, you know... Because truthfully, people keep asking about Gaslight, and Gaslight yeah. hasn't done anything since, you know, the, the early winter. So it's like, I get, I'm getting, like, free advertisement from our band, you know, but, but without doing anything. But um, I think that when it, when it starts to peak, like, sometimes they're like, hey, man, what's going on? Like, because we're getting on radio stations that we never, they would never touch Gaslight. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of ironic. Like, it's been one of these things where... I'm like, oh, so if I just goof around and throw a guitar th across the bus to another guy randomly, <laughs> that's when we get on the radio and gas station, we suffer and work. So I don't know. I mean, but I don't think anybody's jealous. I think that everybody's like, everybody's excited. They just, I think that they would be upset if I was like, hey, I think I'm going to take a year or three off to do this. But that's just, it, that's not the case. I just can't, can't do that. Right now. Because this is, this is fun, but I got a mortgage. <laughs> 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 No, I mean, we've, we've already started. I can't do anything for a long period of time. Like, I have to shift 
So the gear has already shifted into a Gaslight Anthem, even as I'm doing this, because we started writing songs in July, and now, I mean, we have 10 songs done since really? July. Okay. Yeah, so, and I'm going for 25. And that, that's already done. So now, I, my head, though, I, my body is here, my head is already there. And I've already left. But the things I learned here that are going in there, kill it. So, I mean, are you going to go straight from this tour into, is that the way it's going to work? Yeah. We're going to go you're, straight you're from cool this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight from this into the writing and finishing and pre-production of Gaslight. So, Sweet. Yeah. Any chance for someone to wrap this up that you can kind of create like a moving song about the Mets? Like, sure. like a very moving, like, maybe yeah. for, the, for the fan base who's suffering for all these years. Like, yeah, we like can this do... this guy wearing the hat. We can do, uh... I keep touching your legs, sorry. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's British. I'm not, I'm not turned on. We can do that song, totally the Mets. I think the perfect yeah. song for the Mets was done by Eric Clapton when he was in Derek and the Dominoes, and it was called Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. Mm. And If I Had a Dollar Again, you know? Yeah. It's, it's painful. Yes. It's hard, Seriously. It's hard. There's an epic ballad. Where is you guys? Yeah. Just one Where is your band band? when you need them? You know, it's Seriously. strawberry. Come out of retirement, like Brett Favre. Bring back the cocaine. That's what we're playing, dude. Good. That is what's wrong with baseball. Not enough cocaine. <laughs> oh my goodness! Imagine that. Imagine like Derek Jeter on cocaine. Like that guy would be. He'd have a personality. Yeah. <laughs> I hear he could drive a Ford, though. Did you see that advertisement? He could drive a Ford. Oh, that must take the girl's car. Yeah. I mean, not the old ones, but the new ones. I'm a Yankee hitter. You're like setting me up to insult. I am. Well, I, I don't like. I don't like Alex Rodriguez at all. Yeah, but well, if he's kind of, you know, not a team player. Not a team player. But you can't. I mean, Swisher, Texture, Texture. Swisher's the kind of throwback guy that I can yeah. appreciate because you know that's all those '80s guys were just you know scrappy guys yeah. and you know they had personality and everything. Sure. But the, 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 my my whole family, my, yeah, my wife. You guys don't have baseball in. Uh, no, we love cricket. Can you talk if we were talking cricket? You no. Talk? Football. Okay. David Beckham. No, it's football, David soccer? Beckham, wah, wah. Yeah. No, football is football. Football is football? Unless you hear it, no. It's then soccer is like a girl's sport, no? Football is... I don't watch soccer. I don't watch yeah, soccer. Like it's just boring. Who do you follow in football? Watford. Okay. They're almost... I mean, they might be They're worse You know, than listen, us. listen. This could be like a totally made up team. I'd buy it because, you know... No, I don't know. I don't know. Elton John is John is football? Okay. It's, it's, it's the team you support. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't own the team. Does he own really? I think he, he might own the team still. No, he used to, but huh. he goes and does. Hey, he's, even he's Bonnie can't say it. That's what everybody well, more can't say baseball. <laughs> but um, my wife's whole family loves the Mets, so really? it's, it's very, very. Fun. Tell your wife if she ever needs to like vent or anything. Yeah, seriously. I will. I, I watch the TV on mute. I, I love it can't. when she goes and talks to other men. Really? No, I'm totally kidding. I'm just, <laughs> totally, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude, seriously, I tell this to all my friends. Fred Wilpon, who owns the Mets, he should put a statue of a big cow in front of City Field, and every night before a game, he should just milk it, but it has to be branded 86 on it. Oh. Uh, well, it's, at least you're not the Cubs. The Cubs are never going to win again. Ever. No, ever. Ever. We're LA the again, I feel bad. Let's go back to Elton John's football team. Sorry. That's cool. Well, let's wrap this up, because it's probably the only three of us who are like, interested in what we're talking about. Oh, no, man, you could sell half of this to ESPN. <laughs> That's a good point. So, uh, just talk to me quickly, wrapping this up, the tour. Uh, how many dates are you guys playing? Are you just going straight through, fall into winter? There's, uh, no, it's just going to be uh, just September to October, yeah. And okay. there's uh, maybe 20 dates, I think, maybe a little less than that, but right around there. And um, it's on this revival tour package, so we're going to be playing with a bunch of other people, but I'm going to do everything that I've kind of done in my musical career, and then Ian's coming with me, and we're going to play, and... We'll be doing Marble Crows, Gaslight Anthem, nice. stuff that I did for this tour for Chuck, like acoustic songs, and yeah. you know, and we'll be playing with uh, with Chuck and Danny and Dave on their songs. So it's going to be a really cool thing. So cool. I'm excited to do that. Cool. If you ever need like a band member who has no music ability, but like Mighty Mighty Boston's like the dancing guy, I could I could be that guy for you guys. That's awesome. Cool. You're in. Yeah. You know what I'm talking? No, you got to lose the hat though. I'll lose the hat. Mighty Mighty Boston's. You know Mighty Mighty Boston. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't know the name, but doing all East Coast shit. Sorry. Got a bit further east. Further east. Yeah. Further east. Keep going. The far east. England. Yeah, like England's the new far east. <laughs> cool, guys. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Thanks. Thanks. Don't touch my legs.